I checked your uh, MySpace and you wrote a little, you know, little blog. And you were very hyped up about Norway, Amsterdam, yeah, yeah, uh, Belgium, the door. Yeah, 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 the door fest was crazy, man. I thought, um, I say Europe was the shit, man. That they appreciate the people appreciate hip hop so much more over here. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes it real great, man. And, you know, that's what I always heard from different people that came over here and performed over here. They like, man, once you go to Europe, you're gonna see a whole nother side, man. Uh, Appreciation. So it was, I was shocked just to see how many fans I actually had over here. You know what I'm saying? I was really surprised. So it's dope, man. I love it over here, man. It's real. Good. Hey yo, I take you back, little bit, bit. Before they could hear this, I take any sound, any sound when they hear shit. Y'all niggas will get quick, motherfuckers get quick. And if one of which is, and if one of this, oh, you see us move while I run with this set. Me rock on the drop, snares in the kickstand, and then I kick it. Icy with the wrist, bad man, all of this shit. Then we get rich shit. Every day, big chip, every day, Christmas. Show me where the rich is, show me where the bitch is. Now we were watching the show, and you know, next to us were you know, Master Ace and Wordsworth, and you just got props from Sean P. I uh, mean, how does that feel? Man, it's always good to uh, get props from cats and artists that just that been here before you. You know what I'm saying? And kind of paved the way, and you know what I'm saying, in a certain sense. And you know what I'm saying? They've been doing their thing for a minute. So when the artists that see that you got talent and you doing their thing, you doing your thing, and it's always good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's always good. I'm, I'm like one of the youngest cats, one of the youngest cats that's out here doing it on the up and coming, man, so it's, it's always good to get props from, from the older dudes that been doing it for a minute. Niggas watch your panic, damn it, television panoramic, quarter paper out my pocket, bitches throw their panties out, play the get me on their maddie, leave us trying to dance again. All the ladies grab a titty, all the ladies grab a titty, that don't let they come with tipsy, that don't let they come with me. Do you feel like you're getting embraced, like, oh my god, you know, this, 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 this young guy, Talented producer, hip hop is not dead yet, or something. Yeah, you know? Yeah, man. I hear, I hear a lot of that, man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that make, that make, you know that, that make a uh, person feel good. That make me feel good when you know you hear that from artists like you know hip hop ain't dead when you got up and coming cats like this and, and Guilty Simpson and just, just other artists, man. So it's, it's dope to know that people is, is um enjoying my music and they they hear what I hear when I when I make my music, man. They they it sounds good to them. So that's always good, man. That's always good. The black sheep drippin', the black sheep drippin', they all rap, but when it's black, it seems different. They call black, but niggas need the teams with them. We not black, they can't move my teams with it. Stack the green, then I throw it in the pot to stay. Flyin' in the witch's room, goin' to the chopper, goin' to the top. Like a balloon that's flowing outside, and your hand can't grab the string tied to it. Now sometimes a song, it transforms, you know? You're like, you're chopping a beat, you're yeah. making it, you're releasing it. Yeah. And for instance, that song, Sound the Alarm, yeah. at a certain point, it just, it, it blows up, it transforms yeah. into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you experience that? Um, I don't know, like I say, I just I just experiment with different sounds, you know, when I'm in the process of making beats, I experiment with different sounds and just ideas that just be flowing in my head when, when I'm creating the creating process, so I don't know, I don't know where it comes from, man, you know what I'm saying, I, I just do it, man, I've been, I've been doing beats for a minute now, so I'm still mastering my craft, but I kind of know, you know, what sounds sounds good and what 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 type of music to use to, to compose a great beat, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't I don't know. Sound of Alarm was one of those joints that was like y'all you said it was real explosive and just a lot of energy. So that's the type of music I like to make any anyways, music with a lot of energy to it. So it's always go. No, I'm still tight to it like two dikes with strap on tied to them. Hell yeah, I got something to prove and I might prove it. I need for I might sell my money tight to it. Money like white woman last name to it, but first name Martha. I make money y'all be in a quick stop. No, 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 they can't stop me. No, yeah, I'm singing they can't stop me. No, no, I'm singing they can't stop me. Check the plug and listen up. Reading the influences and uh, well, two names just popped out: Prince and yeah. Jay Dilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two of my favorite, my favorite artists ever, man. Like, I don't know which one I like more than the other, but you know, of course, Dilla influenced me on the beats more than any anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know if I'd be doing beats if I never heard or came across Dilla's music. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it's, it's always good. So just, just me being from the same city as from, just me getting a chance to work with Jay Dillon on a few different occasions was like big for me personally.
just because, you know, that's how much I love what he did and the sound he made for Detroit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he passed, it was, you know, it was a great loss to everybody, but, you know, for certain cats, we got, I feel like we got to keep his legacy alive, artists like me and other artists from Detroit. So, yeah, like, Will is one of my biggest influences. Prince, man, I feel like he's the greatest of all time, man. Like, I love, I love Prince, man. It's Prince CD never comes. It's always in my thought, man. I never take a, take a Prince CD out. I'm always listening to Prince, always. So, like, them two dudes is real big in what I'm, you know, big influence in what I do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you catch the news that Prince, he gave away about a million CDs in England? Oh, yeah, I heard, I heard about that. Or in the newspaper, that. you know, yeah, for I, free? For free, yeah, I heard about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Prince been doing, he still, he still is putting out albums year after year. So, man, just to see that is like, it's crazy. He still has the, the, the crazy talent, man, to do this. That's what you call music right there. Yeah, that's like a walking, that's a person that's walking and breathing music, I think, 24 hours a day, man. Prince is just, it's great, man. From his vocal range to, to the way he composed everything, man. I love, I love. So now, within a short period, you reach a, a very professional level, but you know, you still got a long period ahead of you, so what's next? Man, there's a lot of stuff that's, that's coming up for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, it's still the beginning for me, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm still grinding, still trying to, you know, make a name for myself out there, but you know, I got a few projects coming up besides my album already being out right now, you know, I'm working with uh, this guy off Aftermath Records, a uh, dude named Bishop Lamont, you know what I'm saying? Bishop what? Bishop Lamont, right, yeah, so me and him is uh, putting together a project called Cal Troy, you know what I'm saying, with Cali artists, California artists, and, and Detroit artists all on one, one album, you know what I'm saying, and the works are finishing that up right now, I got a project coming with my man Sean Price, uh, Guilty Simpson on Stone's Throw Records, man, and I'm gonna produce the majority of the album, you know what I'm saying, so that's coming, I'm, um, I'm working on some new stuff with Feral Monch, um, a lot, just a lot, man, I'm just trying to get my hands and uh, keep my hands in everything and stay busy, man, and work with as many talented artists as I can, you know what I'm saying, and keep building that, so it's a lot coming up, it's a lot coming up. Realizing with what types of superstars you are currently working with, you know, Sean Price, Pharrell Munch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you grew up also, you know, listening to those. Yeah, I listen to all them do boot camp click, man. <laughs> Duck down, like I had all them, all them records, man, and Pharrell, all the, all the stuff, with man, so all that. So for me to like come and be able to work with those dudes at this point, like this is it's crazy to me, man. Cause I never would have thought I'd be working with Feral Mines. You know? I never thought I'd probably work with Sean Price. And like I say, cause I was about 14, 15 years old when I was listening to them dudes, man. Before I even knew I was gonna make these. But you know, it's crazy how stuff work out. You know, like I say, man, it's a blessing in the skies, man, for me to just be getting a chance to work with different artists like that and even bigger artists to come, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bigger artists on, on a, even on the mainstream level, man. Commercial level, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I'm really just staying on the ground. Man. Award-winning sound, I'm grabbing an Oscar on top of my game, so keep your eyes up. Your king rise, but your guys fall. I'm still high like blue skies when stars are lined up. Change the game, I'm crushing it. So hang yourself until your feet can dangle under you. Use your empire rough, and I'm still crushing it down until it looks like Lego shoveling. Finally, you've been traveling through Europe, different languages, different cultures, different people, you know. And then you go back to Detroit. <laughs> man, I don't even have a question, man. <laughs> like, man, you were so crazy, man. Like, when you go back home, yeah. It's like when I come overseas, it just gives me a whole lot of inspiration, man. Like music, you know, seeing different things, meeting different people, and just experiencing different cultures, you know what I'm saying? That, that gives me like a whole lot of inspiration. So when I come back to Detroit, you know, Detroit is a real great city. You know, shit is grimy, shit is ghetto, everything is hood. So you don't got no choice but to, either you in the streets or you working. So when I get back home, I'm in the lab. And like I say, with all the inspiration I grab from being over here, I take it back home with me and just create new music. So I love, I love getting away, but I still love to come back home because I don't know, something about Detroit, the atmosphere just makes it work, man. Bring a certain vibe to the